it comes to setting up your equipment, you want to make sure that the scanner is set up first, as this is the machine that the majority of voters will be using to cast their ballot into on election day. When it comes to opening the polls, again, the inspector and the judge need to confirm that the red security seal serial number on the scanner matches that on the seal verification form and need to document that it indeed does match up. The next step is to locate the opening the polls supply bag and find the keys, which are on a lanyard, and go ahead and open the large bin underneath the scanner. It has the black door. Located either within the door or within one of the bins are the instructions for how to set up the scanner. Follow these directions step by step. Next, pull the bins out from underneath the scanner and remove all the items located within the bins. Once you've done this, go ahead and leave these bins out as you're going to need to show the empty bins to your first voter. Next, using the instructions found within the scanner compartment, you're going to go ahead and plug in the scanner. Again, two people should be completing this at all times, the inspector and the judge. Once you plug in the scanner, a vote totals report will start to print. This will list all the contests associated with the election. Every number associated with each contest and or candidate should read zero. In addition to the vote totals report, when you look at the front of the scanner, on the LCD screen, this too should read zero. This means that zero ballots have been cast on this machine. Once the vote totals report has finished printing, all poll workers, not just the inspector and judge, but all poll workers need to sign their name at the end of the vote totals report. It's okay to sign along the side here, but everyone in, in your team needs to sign this, verifying that these numbers indeed read zero. Once you've done so, go ahead and roll it up and let it gently fall into the back of the well of the scanner. Do not detach this report. Again, do not detach this report. It must remain affixed throughout the day. Next, you also want to confirm at the front of your scanner that the green ready light is lit. If it's not, call the registrar voters and or check your connections. Once the vote totals report has finished printing, everyone in your team is to inspect that every contest and candidate reads zero. It's also important to verify that the date at the top is today's date. You also want to make sure that the precinct number matches that what's listed on top of the scanner. This precinct number should also match what's on your roster index, and it should also match what's on your card activator and touchscreen voting machine. Once you've confirmed that all contests and or candidates read zero, everyone is to sign their name at the bottom of the printout. It's important to remember that this vote totals report must remain affixed throughout the day. Do not tear it off. Do not tear it off. Once every poll worker has confirmed that the numbers read zero, have signed it, go ahead and roll it up and place it in the well, in the back of the scanner. It's important to keep this somewhat neat as throughout the day, this tape will grow. So again, keep it rolled up at the back 
periodically check it and make sure that it's remaining rolled up. Thank you.